Good morning, guys. Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here, and I'm still in my jammies, uh, enjoying my coffee in the morning. And I took you in here uh, because we are gonna play with those um, forms to create our arch. So I'm gonna show you. I've got some ready. I just left them overnight in here. And now I'm just pulling it out and I've got first one ready. Uh, so you can see it, it looks awesome. I can just remove some bits and pieces which we don't need it. It breaks off quite nice and easy. And then this one can go to my storage box. Of course, I use the YouTube award box <laughs> uh, for storing them. And I have made quite a lot already. So this one can go in here. Uh, another uh, one is just in there, and I love those ones. They are the prettiest ones, and also the form actually to uh, to do it, guys, is much better. I find it like it creates less ear bubbles, uh, so those um, those designs uh, are much better. And I think the reason for it is the um, actual mold is much harder, um, and I think that's what makes the big. Uh, big difference. So I'm just cutting out some bits and pieces and this is fantastic. Imagine it going over the arch. Uh, I really cannot wait. So let's place it to the box and you can see it. This one is quite nice and stiff. Why this one is very wobbly. Um, so the stiff forms are much better. Another one is just ready in here. So I love them as well. This is even more sturdy um, um, form so I can show you we've got some leaves in here again i'm just breaking off the parts and then break all <laughs> i'm just breaking off the parts which are not a part of the design i love this one so much looks absolutely amazing um, i can place it in there then some smaller leaves to to go with that again just tap it to kind of remove the things which we don't want in there another leaf going on, on the other side so I can even actually show you what uh, was my plan uh, for the things which are like um, too stubborn to come off uh, I've got my e-file here you can see it guys like the nail stuff is always useful and we can just um, e-file it um, like for a precision precision I would put a very slow settings and then we can just keep filing it off. It's quite a time-consuming task, but it will clean it at nice. So again, like a new tools are never disappointing us uh, and all sort of do-it-yourself jobs. And the last leaf, and then I'm going to show you uh, how I'm going to mix my... Um, plaster for a next uh, setup. So first of all, I need to clean up this mess. Patrick is shouting at me like, you have made a mess in my garden shed. <laughs> uh, yes, I did huge mess because obviously those things are jumping everywhere, but you have to make sure they are nice and clean. Let me close the box and put it on the side. Imagine dropping it on the floor and all of them would break. So I've got one in here. This one didn't work out and the reason for it is I have tried to save the time and you can see it's cracked in here. There we are and it's cracked in there. It uh, also creates more air bubbles on this form so I, I wouldn't recommend it look really soft one. But the reason why it break it was I have tried to pull it out sooner than an hour. So actually the Gibson needs to dry out for at least an hour. Okay, let me clean this one. So that's what I'm doing, like each time when I've got some spare second, um, like I would, I don't know, put some washing cup, have my coffee, do a first round, then have another coffee and do the second round because we need lots of it. Okay, my forms are clean. The molding forms are clean. There we are. And then I've got some powder in here. So I got it ready from the shop. I actually might have it even here. So it was taken off love. Um, that was actually the website I got it from. I think I got it from Etsy, uh, but that's the company. And it's actually quite good. And the bucket, I have already made quite a lot and I've got still lots of powder in here. So I've got some water in here and I'm terrible for measuring the things. So I just put whatever water <laughs> and then I just feel my own consistency. 
Um, so I'll pick up one scoop, then another scoop. So I've got two, three, four, and things start getting right. That's not enough. Another one. So I kind of feel my uh, consistency, then I start mixing it and uh, making sure there is no larger pieces. You want to have it a smooth consistency and I can see it, I can add one more scoop. So there we are, one more scoop, quite careful with this one so it doesn't thicken too much because the products actually set really fast. So now I can start mixing it. Yes, almost there. This is still quite watery, but I've got lots of product which isn't mixed properly. So make sure there we are. Last scoop. That's it. That's a perfect consistency for me. Because I'm doing three forms at the time, um, I kind of go for a bit... Um, thinner consistency. If I was having just a one form like um, before I was using a thicker consistency, this one is perfect uh, for me just because I need to also shake all the air bubbles. So you mix it as well. Here we are. It's like a thick custard consistency. Tap it because there will be some air bubbles in there. So we want to kind of bring those air bubbles at the surface. Oh, there we are. They are actually jumping out. You can see it. So that's the air bubbles and they can cause like she or form to don't look nice. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm placing my product in there. So first of all, because I done it like a thinner consistency is filling up all the detail for me quite nicely. There we are, another scoop. You have to kind of work pretty fast uh, because the product, as I said, is setting really, really fast. Okay, so I'm almost there. You can see it, things look really messy because I don't want to have too much of those uh, cuts out. What I'm gonna do now is, so first of all, I want to um, spread my product nice and evenly and I put it on the wood because by shaking like this, you can see some air bubbles came in on the top. And also, uh, because of it, I have managed to get the product everywhere. Then toilet roll. And now I'm going to remove the excess of the product. Just like this. So remove the excess of the product. Okay, and now we are going to do more shaking, multitasking, and let's get rid of more air bubbles. Again, another air bubble came up to the surface in here. So I will shake it, leave it for it to set a little bit and we'll be keep shaking it more. Next form, I'm actually going to go for this one. Honestly, these pieces of the wood are so helpful. So remix the things and then start filling up those pretty leaves. I love those leaves like um, I have also placed um, the molds which we have already, not the molds, the forms which we have already created on my living room table and it's it was looking so fantastic like I cannot wait to place it on the arch. Um, and as I say in some previous videos when we was showing you how we build it up the arch, to buy those pieces is pretty pricey and you could actually do it at yourself and um, because it comes up quite nice I might use it on other places in the salon as well uh, because I think it's a fantastic way to, to decorate the salon. Okay, so I've got another one. Again, give it a couple shakes so the things go... There we are. <laughs> so the air bubble comes out and the form fill out nice. That's it done. Make sure your spa spa spatula is clean. Remove the excess of it. Oh, 
There we are, next one in. So we have to work really fast to be able to create it. And you can see it, I have created some even surface and some holes, but I'm not worried about it too much because we are going to shake it and things will fill up nice. Let me just place more product in there. There we are. And then let's do the shakes. This form is definitely my favorite one because it creates the less air bubbles. So I'm also directing it down the way so I could fill up those empty spaces. Really strong. Get rid of all these air bubbles and move the product to every corner. Again, remove the excess. I actually didn't even watch any videos uh, how to create those kind of things. I just worked it out um, myself. There we are. And then another one. So let's place this one on the side, sip some coffee. So my brain works better. Give it shake to this one. So another air bubbles can come up into the surface, clean the excess and fill up the third form. So you can see it now the consistency of the product is much thicker and if I would do get this product at this consistency from the beginning I would be just too late to fill out three forms at the one time. Um, so you kind of have to I don't know, work it out. So here we are. Oh no, let's hope I've got enough. I have wasted so much on the previous forms. And I really don't want to do it too much because it's drying so fast. I don't want to waste the product. I will have enough. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will. I have to. <laughs> Obviously, in a um, way, my nails always getting correct. So here we are, another scoop. So I've got some plaster underneath of my nails. I actually broke one, we will have to fix it, but that will be a separate video. This will be enough. It has to be enough. Yes, it will be enough. So I'm just bringing in the product and the missing parts and then we are going to give it shakes so the product spread even better. It does. <laughs> Come on. And you will see there is lots of air bubbles always coming up on this form. Much more than in the other one. So I've got air bubble, air bubble, air, air bubble here. Even more, another one and another one. So I always have to shake this one more. Let's give it a couple shakes more in here. So I did have to move it because some of the plaster was getting dry and it prevent me moving it. Again, scrape, scrape away those excess give it shake to my favorite leaves. They are awesome because you, you've got so much freedom actually um, placing them in. Still some air bubbles coming up to the surface. There we are. And those shakes are crucial, like I find it, so let me level it out. I need it to, to run a little bit that way. Come on, they, perfect, there we are. 
So uh, I tried the first form without of shakes and it actually looked really, really bad. So doing those shakes makes a really nice difference. Let's shake it this one one more time and then we can leave them. Oh, you can see another air bubble here. And we can leave it for uh, an hour to set, pick it off, and then we can secure them into our arch. I hope you have actually really enjoyed this, uh, again, different tutorial. And um, in the next video on Sunday, we are gonna show you the next step of our arch. I cannot, I cannot really wait uh, to make the things nice and pretty. Sending you glittery hexen. Bye for now.